So today I woke up and got on my phone and started scrolling the Osu Games subreddit and I came across this one post I want to talk about where there's this person saying, I will meet a cheater in a land next week. I don't know how to react. And I'm just going to read it to you guys really quick and give my whole thoughts on this whole situation about cheaters. As you guys can see from the title of this video, my thoughts on cheating. But this person is basically saying, hi, kind of strange post, but this guy is not banned and only a few people know that it is cheating. He will compete in that land but I don't really care ending up playing against him since he is one trick and I'm pretty sure he won't cheat during the land. The thing is, I don't want to interact with that guy. I know I'll be uncomfortable talking with him knowing he is cheating and since he likes taking time with me, things I don't really like anymore but for other reasons, I know he'll come at me to interact. I already reported him in the past explaining how he was cheating to the support. He uploaded cheated score and ban show during a Discord call or screen share with me. He didn't get banned and I don't want anything bad to happen to him but I felt guilty knowing he was cheating and not doing anything. Would you ignore him or would you act like nothing and also would you tell the event organizers that this guy is cheating so i was reading this and i was kind of just infuriated at it like i i'm not infuriated but i was like dude what the fuck bro okay if you're gonna meet a cheater you have to stand your ground and you have to have some morals and be like okay bro you're obviously cheating if you're gonna cheat in a fucking tournament in like a video game especially in a land party like i don't know what the fuck you're doing man like morally you gotta stand up for what you believe is right and say hey man i don't like you because you're a cheater and i don't want you to interact with me i know we talked before in the past but what you're doing nowadays i just don't find it acceptable and then you can just end it right there that's what you should be doing right and i also agree with a person who commented his name child fangirl and they said not sure why don't you just confront him before the inevitable happens at the land it doesn't require much just something simply you're actively cheating and you're playing in a tournament at the land i won't reveal anything but do not try to approach me as i don't feel comfortable being around you due to this i feel like maybe the reason clear could also dissuade him from cheating at the land even if it's already unrealistic that he will cheat live in person so i completely agree with child fangirl here man just go up to him or her whatever the fuck they are and say hey i don't like you because you're a cheater and i don't want to have anything to do with you so yes and maybe he's going to change his mind as a result that be like, damn, people don't like me because I'm a cheater in Osu game. Maybe I should change my actions. Like if he's a completely sociable human being, he's probably going to change his behaviors as a result of that. And in this video, I want to talk some more about this topic about cheaters in Osu game. And I'm not really going to point out like specific cheaters. Like people cheat for their reasons, right? But for what I believe, the reason that a lot of people cheat in Osu game, it's probably because they want to gain some sort of superiority amongst their peers because... What I noticed with Osu players is that a lot of people play it and compete it. It is a single player game, right? You're just clicking the circles. It's not multiplayer like League of Legends or Overwatch where you're going to be playing with like a bunch of different people at the same time. In the Osu game, you're just clicking the circles and you're trying to compete with your friends. There's that masculine essence of competition where you want to take over your peers and become better at them so you can flex at them so it makes you feel better and also inflate your ego. That is the dark truth of Osu game and why people are going to be competing with each other and that's probably why a lot of people who play osu is guys like i don't really see a lot of girls playing osu games it's mostly guys and it's because we have that fiery competition within us from our olden ancestor days where we were like fighting for our brothers we gotta fight like the like the like the hog rider or some shit so we can win against the tribe i don't know what bro like we gotta freaking have some competition fiery in our blood so that we can live another day and that goes into video games nowadays where video games i feel like it's kind of evil where they manipulate those old senses that man used to have and now it's in an artificial form of video games which is why people can get really addicted to video games because it's essentially manipulating that addictive part of being a man and just living in the world but now you're doing it within a video game which is a lot more easily accessible and it just increases the results by 10x even though irl if you play a video game all day your real life circumstances don't really get better while in the past if you were having that competition then your IRL stances will actually get better but that's kind of how it is in osu game which is why a lot of people get addicted to this because they see that they're getting better at their friends and they're also competing with their friends which is why they play it and why they improve that's my theory on this whole subject here and because of that a lot of people when they just play osu games maybe they think their improvement is so fucking bad they're like bro i'm why am i not freaking one digit yet i have like 10 hours but like i'm still like seven digit bro what the freak is going on so these guys are gonna be like okay well maybe i can start 
cheating so I can actually get better at my peers like that. And then they hop on the cheating programs and start setting 700s out of nowhere. They were setting 100s the other day, but now they're setting 700s. And they're like, haha, guys, my improvement is crazy. They want to inflate their ego and flex on their other people. And they'll be like, okay, bro, that improvement is crazy. And then they look at him and then they see, okay, dude, you're a cheater. I'm reporting you. Get the freak out of here. And then he gets banned. And then he has a bad relationship with Osu Game. And this is the spiral that I think happens with a lot of cheating players in Osu Game because they want to flex their egos, right? They want to get better at their peers because we have that masculine competitive fieriness to get better at other people. And of course, my thoughts on this is that of course don't cheat because i understand it's the easy way to get better your friends but it's also like a fake way and inside in your heart you're probably gonna be like okay dude i'm not being honest with my improvement methods i'm cheating and like yeah it probably feels good for the temporary but i know that in my soul i am doing a bad thing and i'm cheating and i'm getting better at my peers in a bad way through cheating so i feel like that's what's happening with these people and they just get into a very bad downward spiral which is why I don't think people should cheat. Like, I feel like that's a pretty common sentiment for OSU players. Like, does anyone who thinks about cheating, like, obviously, there's going to be a small subsection of OSU players that actually go on the cheating for the reasons that I explained beforehand. Maybe that's not actually the reason, but that's my theory. That is pretty much my whole thoughts on cheating in an OSU game, where it just takes away all the fun. Because another reason I want to say in OSU game is that the reason why it's fun is because you have that competitive aspect. And then when you cheat, you get a very temporary feeling of, having a competitive boost amongst your peers but then it kind of just washes away after a bit because you're like okay dude this is artificial i did not deserve this i didn't earn this so osu game is no longer fun for you and the whole point of life like i've really been thinking about what is the point of life here and there is it to work or is it to have fun and honestly it's probably just to have a mix of it but it, honestly if you're living right now in our limited essence of existence you might as well have some fun while you're working right so you hop on osu game have the fun the struggle is part of the fun man like you retry spamming and be like what the fuck man i can't see this part in the beginning like that is the fun part of osu game i think you that struggle and once you have that one lucky run or that one run where you get through that part and then you fc the map that feeling of accomplishment it surpasses anything else and if you have that feeling of accomplishment get completely destroyed by cheating in osu game and have an artificial win it just feels bad for you and oc games no longer fun for you which is why i'm trying to say in this video kind of like a video essay don't fucking cheat to know you game man it's, it's freaking stupid bro like maybe in the short term it feels good but long term you're gonna regret everything it's kind of like taking drugs i guess and it's kind of like an analogy i was gonna say this earlier but the kids that grew up rich for example like they didn't have to work hard for their money they're rich because their parents did the work and now they're kind of just like wondering what the fuck is the meaning of life they're like damn bro what the freak do i do i'm so rich i did everything but like they didn't deserve it they didn't earn it so they don't really feel that happy they're not really having that much fun while you look at like the poor motherfucker in africa he'd be fighting off the hyenas and shit and he's like so freaking happy compared to the other people maybe i'm like making a very broad generalization but whenever i see like the african people like i see videos of them like they're, they have freaking nothing but they're so freaking happy while the rich ass people they have like everything but they're not really that happy i don't know maybe that's like some sort of psyop that's been implanted into my mind but it just seems to be that's the case where the people that really work hard for what they gain these people are the people that gain the most fun while the people that didn't really work hard for their rewards they are feeling very sad and it's kind of a similar thing where people can eat junk food nowadays. They eat the junk food and they're like, oh my God, it tastes so good. But they didn't even work that hard for it. Maybe they're eating the junk food for the 10th time in the day. They hit 5,000 calories and it costs like a dollar for them, but it tastes like they just <laughs> orgasm. I don't know. Like that's what I'm trying to convey here where you have to work hard for the rewards and not be a dumbass cheater and get an artificial win. You have to work hard for it and it's going to feel very good into the long term. But that's much all I want to say in this video. I realized that I was kind of just conveying my message here, just trying to say my thought process. But yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say. And I'll see you guys.